In today's video, I'm going to cover something that's probably the hottest topic that people do not want to discuss. And this is the beginning of my research into the flat earth theory. Now, there's a few of my friends who actually believe that the earth is flat and we have some debates. And as I talk to them more and do some more research, I really just want to do even more research to try to find the answer. And I know there's a lot of people out there that probably say, hey, it's a globe. That's it. Gravity, physics, end of story. Well, I like to do my own research. I like to see for myself certain things. And this video was sort of like the start of me officially wanting to research uh, the flat earth theory. Uh, my buddy and I were outside and we were watching the day moon and I decided to shoot some video because it was pretty interesting. And I'm going to play the video, no audio because it's too loud as we're discussing it. But I'm going to play here and we're zooming in on this uh, using my iPhone 6S Plus and I'm noticing the shadow of the moon is really strange. Uh, you can see the bottom quarter, uh, that's where the shadow is located in the top quarter of the moon is completely lit. Now the sun was right behind us. So it was sort of facing the moon, kind of at the same perspective, we're looking at the day moon. So my question was to my buddy who is, a, he's a believer or more of a believer, should I say, in a flat earth theory. Has it not 100% convinced yet? But I was like, why is the bottom half not lit like the top half? Because the sun is facing uh, the day moon. And he didn't have an answer either. And he was trying to wonder it should be above. And then that shadow would indeed um, be lit since the sun actually lights the moon. That's what provides the moonlight during the nighttime is the sun. So we were kind of wondering why that shadow was there. It was so weird. So I actually uh, looked up uh, some footage on YouTube. I'm going to pause this here and come out of here and come right back to here. There is a Nikon P900 camera, which has an 83X. I'm going to bring it up here on Amazon.com. It has uh, 83X optical zoom. I mean, that's amazing. And 166X dynamic fine zoom. So I think that's a digital zoom, super telephoto lens with dual detect optical uh, VR. So uh, the, the zoom is really what makes this kind of stuff possible. Now, this is my second question. So the shadow and everything with the sun and the day moon was interesting. But then when I looked at this footage, when I was just searching for a new camera, I saw that Nikon P900. So just by dumb luck, I saw some of the footage here and I'm looking at it and this zoom is going right up against the moon. Now, what's interesting is that the moon is supposed to be about 250, 250,000 miles uh, from the earth, but this 83X zoom on a standard consumer digital camera can get this kind of footage. I mean, it's amazing, it's beautiful, but I'm looking at that and I'm going, is the moon really 255,000 miles away from earth? That's that looks awfully closer to me. So I saw another one. This was more interesting to me because besides the distance, and I, as I play this video, besides the distance, I'm looking at this and I've seen night shots as well. Now, as this person zooms in with their P900, it looks like in some parts here, the moon is actually transparent, which is pretty odd. And I don't know what to think of that. But at some parts, I mean, that's amazing detail for a consumer camera. It makes me want to buy it even more just to get shots like this. But as I look at this, some of this stuff is more amazing to me than some than the things that NASA and other people have shot of the moon. The detail of all that right there is just crazy. I've never seen that before. I just came across it, as I said, searching for a camera. And right here, it's mostly the shadow, but there's there's translucency or transparency in parts of the moon there. And this is basically this video is just a question. Now, don't shoot me down. Like I said, I'm just starting my research with this and I'm just having more questions than answers. So I even looked up telescopes to see what would be great. I never got an exact spec that could compare uh, to this P900. This, this thing is pretty amazing. I'm probably gonna end up buying it. Uh, but this footage here and all the other stuff and, and even my footage with the day moon uh, with that shadow, two questions that I don't quite have the answer to as of yet. And this stuff is pretty amazing and just raises that question more so than the shadow. The, the, this, the distance that this camera can uh, zoom in on 
this moon, it really leads me to, to ask questions if the moon is really 255,000 miles away from the earth. So that's just the early stages of how I'm starting to research and ask questions about this flat earth theory versus the heliocentric or the globe uh, theory out there. So please leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of this footage. And um, like I said, just be be kind, be be sort of kind to me about it as I'm early on in this research. Uh, please like this video. Please subscribe and also share this with your family and friends. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.